You're eating a credit card's worth of plastic every week, and it's doing very little to improve your credit score. Here's why. Humans are consuming about 5 grams of plastic, the equivalent to a credit card's worth, every week, according to a new review in the Health and Exposure Journal. Gut News explains that both microplastics, between 0.001 and 5 mm in size, and nanoplastics, less than 0.001 mm, enter our food chain after starting out as waste packaging. These particles can enter the body through seafood, with fish known to mistake them for food or accidentally consume them alongside other food. But they can also enter the body when we drink from plastic bottles, with people who drink 1.5 to 2 liters of water a day from these bottles taking in 90,000 plastic particles per year, while tap water drinkers take in around 40,000. The particles can trigger local inflammation and immune response, and nanoplastics in particular have been found to trigger chemical pathways involved in the formation of cancer. The presence of both types of particles in the gastrointestinal tract has also been found to change the gut microbiome composition, linking it to metabolic diseases such as diabetes, obesity, and chronic liver disease. As this new review suggests, this is an area of science developing fast and a whole host of studies have shed light on both the existence of microplastics and what they are doing to the world and us in recent years. In 2020, for instance, a Nature Journal study showed that salt may also be a vehicle for plastic contamination. Researchers studied sea salt extracted from eight different countries and found that nearly all were contaminated with 72 foreign particles, with only one from France found to be free from contaminants. 30 of the particles were microplastics, 17 were pigments that may have once been plastic, and 4 were dust particles. 21 could not be identified. Scientists said the concentration of plastic was low and wouldn't affect human health, but if plastic pollution continued, those levels could increase and potentially become detrimental to our well-being. Meanwhile, in 2019, research from the University Medical Center Utrecht found that immune cells that target microplastics die three times faster than cells that aren't exposed to microplastics. To test the microplastics and the immune cells, researchers put microplastic particles of different sizes in a petri dish along with immune cells and blood plasma. The experiment found that smaller microplastics were not recognized as intruders by the immune cells and were therefore left untouched. However, the study found that microplastic particles with a thicker coating were targeted by immune cells. According to a news release by the University Medical Center Utrecht, those immune cells died shortly after, while the microplastics remained. The study also found that smaller microplastics encapsulated by the cells did not harm the immune cells. But who's responsible for all this plastic anyway? One answer came in 2020 when scientists studying the Great Pacific Garbage Patch found that most of it comes from rivers in Indonesia, China, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Thailand, according to Reuters. Meanwhile, a study published in the International Union for Conservation of Nature found that around 230,000 tons of plastic trash is dumped in the Mediterranean Sea per year, and this number was expected to double by 2040 if ambitious steps are not taken soon. That study found that the nations most guilty of dumping plastic in the Mediterranean are Italy, Turkey, and Egypt. However, on a per capita basis, it was found that the individuals of Montenegro, Albania, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and North Macedonia threw the most trash in nature. Those numbers are liable to change, though, as demonstrated by the fact that America's contribution to the plastic trash crisis in the world's oceans was found to be up to five times worse than previously thought by a 2020 study. That study, published in Science Advances, came as a sequel to 2015 research, which had given a rough estimate of the waste contribution by the U.S. It revealed that Americans contributed between 1.1 and 2.2 million metric tons of plastic to the oceans in 2016, which is five times more than the lowest estimates from 2015. It also revealed that Americans are using more plastic than ever before, and the data included American waste exports that were not accounted for in their previous studies. About 88% of the country's waste exports were found to go to countries with poor recycling infrastructure. Much of the plastic waste that is exported does not go through recycling systems and ends up in the oceans. A new study from Duke University has found that microplastic fibers can cause damage to the respiratory and reproductive systems of the Japanese Madaka fish. For the study, researchers placed 27 pairs of the fish in a water tank with large amounts of suspended microplastic fibers. On a weekly basis, scientists monitored egg production, weight and the amount of fiber that was ingested and excreted out by the Madaka fish. After 21 days, researchers examined the tissue of the Japanese Madaka fish and found that those exposed to larger amounts of microplastic fibers had developed fused membranes and increased mucus production in their gills. 
The microfibers had also caused damage to the epithelial cells lining the fish gills. Female fish exposed to the microfibers had been found to produce more eggs over this period of time. The study also found that microplastic fibers residing in fish guts may release harmful chemical coatings that could leak into the bloodstream of the fish. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.